Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for July 3rd of 2024 is titled M83, Star Streams and a Thousand Rubies. So what do we see here? Well, we see the galaxy known by its designation of M83, a relatively nearby spiral galaxy only about 12 million light years away. Now, it's also a relatively small spiral galaxy, less than half the size of our own Milky Way, being only about 40,000 light years across. Our Milky Way over 100,000 light years across. So, big difference in terms of the sizing, sizing there. Now, this is shown with the distinct spiral arms. And with those spiral arms, we note two specific things. We note the bluish color associated with them. And we see them dotted by those thousand rubies mentioned, the bright red dots scattered around. Now, both of those are signs of star formation in the spiral arms. And the blue color is from hot stars that have formed. So those very hot stars, they are among the hottest, brightest, most massive stars. When they form, they dominate the light because they emit so much more light than our own sun, as an example. So when we see a spiral galaxy that has newly formed stars, which is all of them, then we see that distinct blue color because of the types of stars that have just formed within it. The pink or reddish color is the glow of hydrogen gas. When hydrogen gas is excited, it glows a distinct red color. And we see that as the pink glow here. So these are hydrogen regions. In fact, ionized hydrogen regions around young stars. So again, they are associated with star formation as well. When those stars form, they look blue to us, but they're actually emitting a lot of ultraviolet radiation. That ultraviolet light can excite the hydrogen atoms and ionize them, stripping them of their electrons. We will then have essentially a sea of protons and electrons, hydrogen atoms that have been separated from one another. And of course, they want to recombine. And when they do so, they give off light of various colors. But specifically in hydrogen, it gives off a distinct red that we see here as the glow. So all of those are great hydrogen regions, much like our own Orion Nebula, although these would be on a much larger scale, much, much larger than our, our Orion Nebula within our own galaxy. That is a well studied uh, star forming region relatively close to us here in our galaxy, but we can see far larger ones elsewhere. Now the other thing we see in this image are is a star stream. So we can see the outer halo around this very fuzzy. And that is a lot of diffuse starlight scattered around. But down toward the bottom, we can also see a stream of material. This would be a smaller galaxy that has been ripped apart by the tidal forces of the larger galaxy. So galaxies will orbit around one another and our Milky Way has its own satellite galaxy. So so does M83. And as that galaxy gets too close, sometimes it can actually be torn apart and eventually then will become incorporated within the larger galaxy as they slowly merge. Now that was how galaxies have grown over time. Galaxies were much smaller and have slowly gained more and more material over billions of years to make the much larger galaxies we are used to seeing today. So that was our picture of the day for July 3rd of 2024. It was titled M83 Star Streams and a Thousand Rubies. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then... Have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.